So text overlays. I think you're going to be impressed with how advanced this is. I know I just mentioned in that previous video and showed you what you can do with it. Uh, I'm going to start again from scratch here and really just build this out. I'm staying in this scene up here as me and uh, I've just deleted out those other overlays. So I'm just going to click down the bottom here and uh, it actually when I hover over it, new text overlay. And here we go. So this is remembered what I did last time around with the rounded edges. If you remember, we just brought that in from the side. So I'm going to start. I think one of the first things you might want is to put your name on here. Um, to start with, I'm going to take the background off. Now, notice in terms of fonts, if I click up here on all fonts, any font that you've got on your Mac, Ecamm will see. So if there's a particular font that you see and like, if you install it on your Mac, then Ecamm will find it in here. And what you can do as well is uh, under this, under collections, notice that I've got ELA, which is Ecamm Academy. So we can create a collection on here and I can drag fonts into it so I can order them. So Metropolis is our font that we use. And uh, if I go here on medium, in fact, now let's go a bit thicker, shall we? Let's go bold for my name. And I just choose the font size over here. At its most basic, this is me just bringing in text. And then I can pop it on screen wherever I want. And then I just hit that pencil to come back through. So this is center, this is left aligned. I can go center aligned, which certainly if I'm trying to snap to the center or to different points on this, that center can be quite helpful just to know that that really is in there. I'll just push it back for a minute. We can take this on further then. We can add backgrounds to this. As I say, we, we touched on this uh, in a previous video, but let me explain first of all the colors because this can get a little bit confusing. If I want to change the color of that text, I select it down here and then there, that little globe symbol, when I click that, it brings up this little color palette. Now you can sort of freestyle it and change the colors if you want. If you've got a particular palette, then you can come onto this next tab along. And instead of the grayscale slider, click RGB slider. And down the bottom here are hex ref colors, which you might be more familiar with. If you've maybe in Canva come up with a color palette, then you might know these hex ref colors from there. Something else I'd just like to point out is, uh, let me pull this up here, for example. If I want to pick a color, so if you already know you've got something that you want to match the color to, and maybe you've got it sitting on your desktop, if you've got one of these palettes, bring it here onto the desktop. Look what I can do with this little um, pipette. It's come over here and whatever I put this over, it will take the color off. So it doesn't have to be an Ecamm. I can click up here and now it's just brought in the color of this um, little logo over here. So really powerful with the colors. And every time you, so like I've just created this yellow here, let's go for a very different one so you can see I'm doing it. We've landed on this pink purple. If I want to drag this to the side here, it will now add it to my library. This is my palette down here. So I've got preloaded up in this by doing this. I've gone through here. These are our different colors that we use in our different academies and I can reorder these around if I want to. So really useful how you can use color on here. And once that's done, I, if I click this now, it's just changed the color of the text. Now we haven't got any background on this at the minute. So if I decide rather than doing this, and we'll stay with this kind of red for now, I want to bring in my background. So I tick up here on the background and rather than changing the color here, it's still the same palette, but I need to tick here for it to know that I'm asking it to change the background. So you can see that that did change actually. When I click there onto the background, now I can come on here and choose any other color. In fact, what I might just do is, um, that actually jumped then, didn't it? So sorry, let me do that again. We're changing the background and I change white. I wanna change the text, which by accident changed and I can change that back. So now we've got uh, a white on orange. You can just play with this, any colors, any combinations. Notice as well down here, we've got this rounded edge on the right and it's flat on the left. So as I change this around, I can round off all four corners independently. So you can do some nice effects with this. Maybe for instance, we want this so it looks like it's just coming out of that corner, but it's rounded off on one edge of it. We'll just go back to flat. And then also we can put a border on. 
So as I start sliding this border, let me add a color to it. Um, forgive me for this <laughs> color palette that we've got here. So I can adjust this border. And again, you can see more prominently what happens as I round this off. And I can expand the margin as well. That's like a, a padding around the text inside this. Yeah, <laughs> you get the idea. We can play around like this. We can add these different effects with shadow and glow as well. I don't tend to use those. And then even the fixed, we, so this will be, when I click to open it, it just stays there. You saw me in that previous one. We just set this to fly in. So if I click on this, now when it disappears, it goes off to the side. And when I click on it, notice that it's now over here on this overlays tab. If I click to open it, it's going to come in from that bottom corner. So you can have a play with that. You can bring in your palettes and you can try different things around and see how you get on. Um, we could keep going. I do just want to try one thing. This is when you start to see people playing with this and really doing a nice job with Ecamm. Let me just try this one a minute. If I put this um, border on here and we save it, and then what I'm going to do is create another text overlay. Now, what I want to do is just create a box. I don't want to see any text in this one, and we're going to use it as a background. So if I change the background color, so remember we go up to background, and I want to use this same blue. And now I highlight the text, and I use the same blue. In effect, I've just created a blank box. And this is a, a clever way you'll see people using Ecamm. So I've now created a box and I can resize this. And, and look what's happened is, you gotta play with it a little bit. I can right click on here and say center back. So it's now gonna push it behind that one and in effect, what I've just done is to create this uh, like a drop shadow to it. If I line that up, I could have got that to the same size, I guess. Um, hang on. I'm playing with it. I'm trying to get it. There we go. So I could do something like this that then just adds a little bit more to it. Maybe I take off the border off the top one. The colors are horrible, sorry. <laughs> but we're starting to create something here that if we set these both to fly in from the left, save that. But the one below it, sorry, that's the one I did just change. This top one, fly in from the left. Now, what I can do, and just to bring this one in as to people ask why and when would you use folders? Well, if I individually on both of these, when I click them, it makes them appear in from the side. If I put these into a folder and I just click on folder here and let's call it name. And then I lift these up and push them to the right slightly so that it drops them in there. What will happen now is that when I make the group come and go, it will do this effect. So both come in together now. Does that make sense? So it's a fun little way to play with this if you want to. So from the real basics of just putting some text on there, bringing your name on, you can do that. Or if you want to try and play with this and really brand it up, then uh, go for it. Now, another reason I would use these, and what I'm gonna do is to just pull, I'm gonna clone this one so I can hit the option key and drag that. And what that's done, it says there, copy of Adrian Salisbury. If I close this back down, what we've made in that folder. I've now got one over here. And what I'm gonna do up here is I'm gonna create a, a mock-up of some bullet points. I might turn that background off and simply turn this to white. And this becomes a really nice way. Again, you know, we get into presenting, it, thinking that this could be going out to Zoom or somebody somewhere else and you're doing your talk and you say, right, okay, let's get into our first point click on your overlays, point number one, overlays, and, and away you go. This is really nice. And you know, you don't need to be off creating this in Keynote. If you just wanna be able to do some bullet points and things, you can absolutely do it right here inside of Ecamm. Obviously I've got a very nice dark wall behind, so it stands out that I can put this text on, but you could be putting a, a background behind it if you wanted to. And, um, do something like this instead. 
but um, watch this through again. Fairly straightforward way for you to bring in some bullet points and overlays. If I want to clone that, I can hit the option key and drag down and that will create another one for me. Same again, bring it down and I can create another one. So you can see how then I could double click on this, change the wording to number two and off we go. And individually I can bring these in and out. I think that's um, some really cool ways that you can use the text overlays right here inside of Ecamm. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Uh, we can, you can see down the bottom here actually you can use emojis in here as well. So we could add those into the text as well if you wanted to. Go have a play with that and in this next video I'm going to show you how to take this text and turn it into a scrolling ticker.